Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nero, and I'm here to introduce to you the Gaunt of Stormgate. The Gaunt is built from the Conclave, which is the lowest tech level of building. You can build the Iron Vault and the Conclave just at the start of the game. And the Gaunt costs 50 Luminite and 15 Therium. So that's three trips of the Therium, this gray rock, and then obviously um, whatever 50... 50 divided by 4. It's pretty close to a number. It's fine. So you basically got a unit that's mostly Luminite. So to give an example from uh, StarCraft, this kind of feels like a roach in a sense of what it costs. So most of resource A, a bit of resource B. And similar to other infernal structures, you can bank up to three instances of a gaunt production on each conclave. So you can see this one here, we have zero available. These also cost one food as a note. This is charging up and once we have a full bar, we will have one gaunt available and then it will continue to charge up to three and then stop developing after that. So the cool things about the gaunt, what is this unit? How does it look? It looks like it's a dude with a bunch of horns. He's got two head horns and two jaw horns or something like that. His eyes seem to be closed at the moment and his mouth is open as though shouting, but it's kind of stuck that way. And also is holding two little weapons here. Now the Gaunt, uh, unlike the Brute, for example, which is this bad boy over here, the Gaunt is much smaller in its head box. It's got four move speed as opposed to of the Brute 3.8, so these are a little bit faster. They deal six damage with a range of 5.5, so these are actually bone axes, now that I read the description. Bone axes they throw at their enemies. And the Gaunt has one key and special ability, uh, which is... Plague Axe. This is a passive. On hit, attacked units are affected with Infest. If a unit is infested and it dies, then a fiend spawns, which is a unit that you permanently control. So for that reason, Gaunts are uh, very strong, just because you're generating lots of army units over time. Can we micro? What is the leash on these? I feel like I'm playing Dota 2 right now. Interesting that you've got uh, creeping in an RTS here with Stormgate, but it is meant to basically be the spiritual successor to StarCraft and WarCraft 3. Now look, we have five fiends. So we got one fiend from each of those uh, neutrals that we just fought and killed. So the Gaunts generate fiends over time, which is very strong. What's the downside of this unit? They've got range, uh, they've got pretty good move speed, they generate stuff. Uh, what is their downside? They have no armor. So the Brute has 10 armor. These have zero armor, which means they're very vulnerable to fast attacking stuff, like fiends mess them up pretty bad, as opposed to this. Fiends deal pretty high damage in general. But yeah, Gaunts are squishy, they're meant to be more of your backliner units. You let the Brutes and the Fiends run in front, and then the Gaunts run behind that. There is also an upgrade that you can get for your Gaunts. Let's just go ahead and... Get the ritual chamber as soon as this is at a tier two. With their six damage, one attack speed, air and ground, by the way, so this is your first anti-air unit you have access to as an infernal gamer. We have tier two tech now. We can make a, what is it? Is it this one? We're gonna find out. It's one of these. It's one of them. The Shadow Cleft or the Ritual Chamber. The very smart gamer would make both of them. But yes, Gaunts are a very good unit. And since they cost more Luminite than um, Therium, you can always just slap down a bunch of these Conclaves. The Conclaves cost Luminite only, so if in this situation you're floating a whole bunch of Luminite and you want a bunch, uh, throw down a bunch of them, you absolutely can, and then just crank out a whole bunch of Gaunts. Just make sure that you always have some front line for them. Gaunts cannot be chased down and killed by Ogres, or these Brutes, because these guys are slower. 
but a fiend would be able to catch the gaunts going across the map. So they do need some support for the unit. Let's see about the shadow cleft. Do we have that upgrade? It's the ritual chamber. I should have read the description fully. Have you ever taken a test and you didn't read all the words in the word problem? Just did it. I just did it again as an adult. Just to demonstrate consistency. All right, this gaunt ability increases their movement speed by 50%. It's a Reaper's Rush, so this is an activatable, and this costs 10 health. You can see the uh, 10 green heart thingy next to my face. So that is basically stim. If that isn't stim, I don't know what stim is. That's stim, isn't it? Oh, no, it doesn't give them attack speed, so it's not stim. Stim gave attack speed and move speed. This is just move speed. The ritual chamber is finishing. Get hyped. Get hyped. All right, what does this ritual chamber have for us? Any sick rituals? I mean, sick as in like cool, as in like nice. Let's see it. Reaper's Rush. This takes 60 seconds in game. How fast does the game timer go? Takes a pretty long amount of time. Hmm. Okay, so I'll just run these around. And then you'll get to see the amazing rocket ship speed kick in. How many commands can you queue up? Is there a limit? Looks like we're reaching the cap of it. It's almost there. They're about to go super speed. Five seconds. Four seconds. Three seconds. Two. One. We have it. Wow. Look at this movement speed. Six movement speed. Does it stack? It does not stack. And you can spam it just down to low HP, but you cannot kill the unit with this ability. It will just fizzle, it looks like. Yeah, it just fizzles and you can't activate it again. Cool. So the Gaunt, pretty cool. Backlining unit feels unique. Not quite stim, but something resembling stim. And then generating the little fiends is pretty cool. And then as another note of their attack, they've got on hit, their attack bounces twice to nearby enemies. So you get a little bit of AOE, a little bit. It's kind of a cleave effect. That's very cool. Pretty nice unit, the Gaunt. What do we think about it? Do we like the look of this? Do we like the design? Let me know your thoughts.